diamonds can i have your attention apparently there's some people who can't stand they said they are sick and tired of cci that is celebration church international and their pastor pastor emmanuel Abi, apostle emmanuel irene they said they are sick and tired they can't stand them all right my diamonds i want you to sit down have a special i don't know where you're going to sit down because the story i don't think we'll spend too much time but let's just talk about it jare compliments of the season are you wearing your red and your green cap all right so welcome to the channel okay um hmm. that's how i was doing walkabout on the internet and i now stumbled on some people that were asking people that don't used to speak in tongues how they used to do it ha. the person just woke up in the morning and just decided to have a wild thought and be asking people that don't speak in tongues how do they cope so let's say i should ask you all that don't speak in tongues how do you cope you christians that don't speak in tongues how do you cope so that was how on that as people were just vibrating on that uh, twitter you know those people on twitter <laughs> i am not get power for them or oh, hey, hey. oh youtube is enough trouble no you are not trouble in the name of jesus you guys are blessings hmm. so that's how somebody on that post said hey yes this exact same reason of speaking in tongues is why i left celebration church for them oh, i cannot stand their wahala hey I said, ah, I have to sit down here. Oh, this is where it's happening. No, oh. let me bring my joko. Oh. Let me call my diamond. So, oh. let me call all of us. So, oh. let's come and sit down under the moonlight and listen to this matter. Oh, I said the story is long, but we shall read it. But before we read it, I don't think we'll read everything, but just pause and read. But before we go on, my diamond, have you liked this video? My Osha Prapra, do you want me to talk? Post you further please like this video subscribe to the channel and if you are if you are led give us a super chance to say well done enjoy your christmas okay all right let's read it welcome to timitoka banks tv reporting live from twitter so this person this twitter user, user says this is one of the reasons why i left cci it didn't feel inclusive not everyone can speak in tongues and not everyone will i got tired of attending service because every second praying the holy ghost then you start to feel out of place because you are the only one not praying in the holy ghost so she now goes on to say that um i said i left to say i not church in in general oh, they are all insulting me calling me a non-believer and a sinner Instead of you to be happy, I am still saved and attending a Bible believing church. Like I said, Una they move like cultists. So somebody now said that Irene and his church are cult group. They move like cultists. Look at the cultists attacking me. Your cult leader sent you minions, shameless fool. I don't like how they behave. They, they already worship self. Proudly a cultist then when my men them you all are funny that's Irene and his church l l m a o o o how this is really untrue and mean thing to say i thought i was the only one who felt this way haba you have to meet them in real life to understand them bro they are almost on the same level as those radical muslims up north i wonder what they are always feeding them there okay so let's go back um so uh, let's go back to the main gist so um some of these are the most ridiculous things about this is that most of these people are aware that the bible says that if someone speaks in tongues and there's no one to interpret the person should shut up but you run you i want the assistant jesus they don't retire them to their tastes somebody said not everybody is designed to speak in tongues and that's fine I don't get why people make a big deal out of it. I say my quiet prayer and I move on. I don't need to kabash before God hears me. 
Another person say, I get this, especially when you are trying your best. One thing is to not force it. It will come when it comes. I also believe there are other ways to talk to God. This isn't a one size fits all. As long as you have a pure, genuine connection with God, that's what matters. Somebody said, I'm sorry you felt that way. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Um, the story just goes on and on and on. So, this is CCI members. We never agree. Oh, that's why I left. Just check the quotes and comments. They are already there. So somebody also said that when you say it didn't feel inclusive, you mean all prayers are led in tongues. Plus, I don't think anyone who is busy with their own problems will be on the look and bothered about someone who else doesn't speak in tongues. So she re responded and says, worship person wants to start praise and worship. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pastor is giving someone halfway. Everyone praying in the Holy Ghost. Prayer session. Hold your partner and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pastor will preach. As a Christian, there are some warfare that require you to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are not, if not, you are not ready. It constantly rang in the ears to the point where you feel less of a Christian if you don't have the ability to speak in tongues. What happens to a non-believer that attends service for the first time? Now, we have gospel songs that are 70% speaking in tongues. How do we connect with that? All right, let's move. See my diamond on this issue. <laughs> After you guys that this end of year, I really don't want to be deep and philosophical. I just want to come here and cruise and go. But I'll just say a couple of things, right? Um, this issue has always been one that has been subject to a lot of um, arguments, okay? And um, there are different school of thoughts. So first of all, let me answer the question of, or let me attempt to answer the question of how do people who don't pray in tongues cope? I remember as a teenager, there was something like that that someone said in our teenage church then, um, in, the, in the line of people who don't pray in tongues will not go to heaven or something like that. And an elderly person corrected the person who said that then and said, no, that's not true, okay? Um, the best way I can attempt to explain praying in tongues as a believer um, and those who don't pray in tongues. It doesn't mean that they are not believers. They are believers. But think of it this way. Um, if you use a smartphone versus an on smartphone, they are both tools for communications. You can use a Nokia 3310 to make a call. True or false, right? But you can't use a Nokia 3310 to browse the internet to scan to do a lot of things that most new generation smartphones can do now when you pray in tongues it gives you an edge doesn't mean that people who don't pray in tongues don't have god or won't go to heaven or god will not answer their prayers no not at all it just gives you an edge okay this is not a Bible study class. This is not a Bible study channel. Okay? And I don't want to go into all of that. But I just said, let me say that. Then, secondly, there are also people who have also argued that um, during Sunday services, during like Sunday services where you have a mixed multitude of people, that uh, praying in tongues in those services may not be as productive as people imagine because not everybody can connect with that which is what this argument and what this outburst is about when they are using cci as a case in study all right there are some other people school of thought who feel like no if you are in a company of believers then this is how we this is our culture here okay and you you cannot tell people not to practice their culture because there are some churches who will say that oh during um, sunday services where you have mixed multitudes of people they try to be more inclusive let me use the words of that um the person who wrote that they try to be more inclusive by um not really praying in tongues during those services but they have like week serve weekly services where you know that there's more serious christians who are there and they have like prayer meetings where they, they, they pray in tongues and all of that so that's cool of thought is on the other side so like i said it's this thing has always been a source of conversation and argument but i would just say that um 
I don't know. I always say this channel is not a prayer channel, it's not a Bible study channel, it's all that. But if you are interested, okay, if you are interested, there are, there are a lot of old teachings, okay, that I could recommend to you if you want to know more about the Holy Spirit, um, praying in tongues, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and all of that. There are good teachings from like the Kenneth Hagins and all of that. I could recommend you and lead you to to those teachings if you are interested let me know in the comment section so i'll just maybe create like a playlist for you okay so you could you could watch it okay yeah that's 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 about that i'm not in the mood to be going into go ask your pastors okay i'm not a pastor <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to end the video here, but that's what they were criticizing CCI and um, look, it's all it's all good. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and I'm going to end the video here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.